as you can see, we're on the dyno. And I'm gonna do some no meth pulls, turn the meth on, not change any tune changes and see what it does to the power. Because a lot of people I say they want to spray meth for cooling, and I tell them meth is a fuel. Does it have cooling properties? Can it cool? Yes, but it's a fuel, so it will change your tune up. So you'll see how it goes. No meth just now. IT is like 110. The purple was 93 and dual meth with BPM1 last year. Same poly combo, same timing. So on 60% ethanol, no meth, we made 619 and 583 torque. So now I'm gonna turn the meth on. I'm not gonna change the tune. We're not gonna do anything. We're just gonna turn the meth on and I'm gonna show you what happens. Because a lot of guys online say you're gonna spray, you know, dual nozzle just to cool and you don't need to tune it. It's a fuel, you need to tune it. It's a different storage. I know this might sound like Chinese or like I'm doing some crazy math in here, but different fuels have different storage. So if you add a slower burning fuel in without any tune changes, you're probably gonna make less power. On top of the not adjusting your fuel for it, you're, you're pretty rich. So, watch this. So we got set to like five, six. Test it. Turns on. And we'll go from here. So this is the same tune, as you can see, meth's not on yet. Once the meth turns on, we start losing power, so green's with meth. No tune changes, just spraying meth. Like I said, it's gonna add fuel, it's gonna burn slower, and I'll show you the log too. And that's a dual nozzle, M single 15 and single 10 on M1. And being a PD blower car, the meth doesn't do anything for cooling anyway because it evaporates spraying it before the blower. If you spray it after the blower, you'll get cooling effects, but you can also pour chocolate milk on your intake sensor and that would also cool. Doesn't mean you're gonna make more power though because your sensor's soaking fluid. So this is run with no meth, just E60 that made 619, 583. This is the run with the same tune, but meth turned on that we lost power. Made like 590 something. As you can see, like watch the IITs, like they still go up since it's a positive displacement blower spraying meth before the blower. It's hitting the rotors and evaporating. So meth, you still gain from the octane, but you're not getting the spraying the IIT with the liquid uh, cooling down, they say. But like I said before, I could take this Dunkin' Coffee poured on my IAT sensor. It's going to read colder, doesn't mean it's going to make more power. the yellow run. Oh wow, it makes 
more power when you tune for it. So quick rehab. 619 is 60% ethanol, no meth at all. The red. Green is the same tune, turning methanol on for all you guys that say you're gonna spray methanol for cooling only and you don't need to change the tune. 627 is just fixing the fuel out, it's still on the richer side and adding some timing. So let me show you the straight. Meth untuned versus meth tuned. And it's not even a wild tune either. So this is, the green is the meth, untuned, just spraying it for cooling, doesn't need tuning. It's a fuel, but doesn't need tuning. That doesn't make sense, but okay. Facebook tells you that. So if you're gonna use methanol, take advantage of the methanol and make more power. Or you're wasting money spraying methanol to make less power. So remember, red is the 85 and no meth. So you can run E85 with no meth. That's the red. Where you turn meth on for cooling, that's the green. No tune changes, just once the meth turns on, we start losing power everywhere. So meth kicks on around here, and it's all downhill from there. Or, we can tune for the methanol, and we get more power. So what makes more sense to you guys? So green is with meth, red is the same tune without meth. As you can see, once the meth turns on, we started losing everywhere, power and torque, because the meth is a slower burn rate, so it needs to be ignited earlier to get the same effect. Plus, you're making the car rich just spraying meth without changing the tuning. So spraying meth for cooling, you lose power. If you're gonna spray meth, get the car tuned for the meth. And this, of course, wasn't like a let's make all the power I can video. The car still has a 8.5 upper. Where is it? There you go. With an 8.8 lower. Still stock cam, stock motor, stock head, stock head bolts, stock head gaskets, you name it. Just a blower, fuel system, some meth, and it runs 9s and traps 140s with a different pulley. But hope you guys enjoyed. If you don't, um, spend your own money to rent a dyno, spend your own money on fuel. Uh, tune your car yourself and make a better video until then see you later